Hello everybody, my name is Peter Kruger, Product Support Specialist for Robertson Implements and today we're going to have a look at the new Holland Air Card. So starting from the front, we have our standard 3 quarter inch couplers for our fans, we have our ISO plug and also our trailer plugs up here and then also our case drain. Just one thing to take note of is the case drain, make sure that it's a, a true zero pressure return else you might run into troubles with your hydraulic couplers popping off. Moving back, we got this frame for our hoses, so it keeps it neat and tidy, out of the way, and make sure that it doesn't rub through, and also at the back here. Keep everything nice and smooth, running smooth. So on every tank, we have our bin level sensors, our tank pressurization line, and our tank pressurization sensor. These are all tanks. Okay, so in the front here, we find the toolbox. This is where we store the calibration bags, the remote for the unloading auger, as well as your scale. So this unit's equipped with scales. We've got our load cells up there, and every tank is individually scaled, and it will, this is the display, will give you your weights on the scale. Up here, we have our pressurization lines that go into each and every tank for your pressurization. Moving backwards, We've got cameras on this system. This is the control, control box for the cameras. We have five, so one on each tank, and then a back-facing camera as well. So on this unit, we've got an auxiliary fill to fill the auxiliary tank. Just make sure you vent it when you are filling it, and we also have a light here to uh, warn you that the tank is full, as well as a side glass at the back there. So in the description of this video, there will be a link to a video on how to operate the auxiliary fill. So on the three big tanks, we have a 24 volt electric motor that drives an agitator, which helps you if you've got lumpy product, just to break up the lumps, so you make sure that you don't have any blockage in your runs. And then on our auxiliary tank, we have also a 24 volt motor, but that is called a leveler, and we have three sensors in the tank that make sure that there's always product that's level in the tank, so you don't run short on one side than the other. So that will actually turn both ways to make sure that you've got product all over your tank. So at the back of the unit, we have the two fans. Just one thing to take note of, that if you're going to do single shooting, make sure you use your bottom fan, as the bottom fan uh, runs your alternator for charging the batteries. Also at the back here, on this unit, we have uh, brakes on the card itself. So our brake controller is back here. And then on the other side, our batteries with the fuses on the batteries. So on the back of the cart, we have the ladder that gives you access to the top of the cart. Easy fold up and fold in. And we also have a sensor on here to warn you in the display if you did forget it down because it's quite low and you might damage it. Moving forward, we got our uh, hydraulic auger that's operated with your remote. And uh, the way to get the hydraulics to this is to reverse your uh, upper fan hydraulics on the tractor, and then you provide oil to the hydraulic block for the auger. So over here, we've got our control box for the hydraulics, for the remote to communicate with the hydraulic solenoids. We have a safety on this one that you have to remove the spin, pull this lever out of its cradle, and then you see it powers up, and now you can use your remote to handle your auger. So on the side here, each tank will have a ball valve. This is for your pressurization. So if you're going to use your top run, you're going to move this to the top. And if you're going to use your bottom run, you're going to move this to the bottom. This is our uh, splitter for the scales. And also, we have on this side, also have a uh, display for the scales. So on each side of the cart, we have a display for the scales. On the side here, we've got an access door to our auxiliary tank. Can open it up. And then uh, we can go inside and have a look at our agitation and the sensors for the leveler. So in the bottom of the tank, we can see the three sensors that uh, measure the leveler. And then also you can see the leveler turning. So uh, New Holland uses Intellerate modular meeting system, uh, the most accurate system in the industry. It provides precision control of individual runs for up to 12 runs using the distribution type B. We also offer section control as well as curve compensation. So right here, we've got our three meter rollers. 
This one, the narrow, that's what we use for canola mostly. Then here we've got the half unit for wheat and then for, um, for, for, for low rate fertilizers. And then this one is the full one, that's for high rate applications. So now we will move over to the calibration. So coming in your toolbox as well is a little ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket on. So this one we use for opening and shutting our tanks. So it's a positive shut and a positive open. So all you do, so right now, I'm closing it, so now it's closed, so now I can take everything out. I'm not gonna lose any product out of my tank. And when I'm ready, I just open it up. And there we got it open, so now we're ready to see it. Going uh, onto the handle positions over here. If the handle is in the top position, like that, now we're in clean out, so now product basically flows by, passes by, and you can clean out your tanks. With no lever in it, we are in calibration mode, so now we can calibrate the unit. If we want to use the top run, that's where we're going to be. And if we use the bottom run, that's where we're going to be. So we will move on to calibration. Okay, so starting with the calibration, like I said, we're going to make sure we do not have the lever in any of the holes, so that's calibration mode. So in our toolbox in the front there, we supply you with two calibration bags. We're gonna put the calibration bag in its place. And then we're gonna go get the monitor ready for calibration. So on our display, this is the main screen we'll see on our VT side. So we're gonna click on the three lines. And then it's the calibration menu. And then we're gonna go to the meter calibration. We're gonna click on that. We got a launch wizard. So now we can either choose all meters or single meters. So I'm gonna do both of them. First one, we're gonna do all the meters. And now we're gonna to touch the tank. So we're gonna do that tank. We're gonna go next. So then it's got a checklist. Make sure that everything is uh, checked. Go next. So now it tells us to go to the air card, turn on the tank, and then press and hold the calibration button to dispense the product. So we're gonna do that now. So on our switches below here, yeah, we've got tank one, tank two, and tank three. So we're gonna do tank two. You can do multiple tanks at a time if you wanted to, but we're just gonna do tank number two right now. So tank number two is on, and then we've got the button over there, so we're gonna run it now. So we're dispensing product when you got enough product in the unit and you can just let go of the button. So now we're gonna take the product out, we're gonna weigh it, and then we're gonna enter the weight into the display. So we uh, weighed our product, we got our weight, so now we're gonna go next. So now it's all asking us what the weight was. We weighed it as 10.5 pounds. We're gonna go enter, then we're gonna go next. And there's our Cal factors. So we're gonna do it again, and we're just gonna do it now just with one run. Okay, so we're gonna go through the single meter calibration. So we're gonna go onto the menu again. Meter calibration. We're gonna say launch was. So now we're gonna choose single meter, and we're gonna choose tank number two again. We're gonna go next. The checklist again, we're gonna go next again. So now we're gonna go and run the product out and we're gonna weigh it again. So we weighed out our product and we're gonna go enter it into the display. So we're gonna go next. And we weighed, measured. Six point four five and enter. And we're gonna go next. And there's the calf factors. So that's the calibration on the Neonat Air Cards. Thank you so much for watching. For more info, see the links and descriptions below. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Or visit our uh, website, robertsonimplements.com. Thank you.